How's it going? Shadow MMO here. Today I'll be counting down the top 10 April Fool's jokes in MMORPGs. Some people like MMOs a bit too much. This might be the case for players of Star Trek Online. This year they released a new expansion that would allow players to date their spaceship in a dating simulator minigame. According to the developers, the spaceships are programmed to believe they are attending fleet school with you, the player, as their only classmate. There are five starships you can date. Akira, the curious scientist who wants to explore the galaxy. Vastam, the dominant Sundar dictator. Bortascu, the 5,000 pound athlete. Vanguard Carrier, the shy anime main character. And Kitomer, the eternal friendzone. While this would be terrible in an MMO, there are actually players who are disappointed that this is just an April Fool's joke. Back in 2014, Neverwinter announced that dragons would become a playable race. This was a disaster because it was executed so poorly. First, they were a bit late to the party and upload the announcement video on July 16th. Also, it was just boring and unimaginative. At least you would have been able to ride mounts as a dragon. Back in 2017, EVE Online announced a new item called the Upwell Organic Mass Granulator for April Fools. When your ship gets destroyed in EVE, your capsule that holds your body gets ejected. When that capsule gets destroyed, your corpse turns into a frozen popsicle. Enemies can collect these frozen corpses as a trophy. This would all change with the Upwell Organic Mass Granulator, because this new item allows players to grind up the frozen corpses and convert them into raw materials, sodium chloride and lacrimix, that could then be used to produce consumables for your character. <laughs> Warframe is a co-op, free-to-play, loot-based shooter action RPG similar to Destiny. Path of Exile is a free-to-play action RPG similar to Diablo. While both games are in the same overall genre, they are extremely different with one being a 3D space shooter and the other being an isometric fantasy dungeon crawler. This didn't stop them from teasing a new crossover game, Path of Warframe, for April Fools in 2019. This game featured playable characters with abnormally sized necks and their quest to find an average normal sized neck. The game featured microtransactions like the itchy necklace, allergy inducing scarf, oozing rash, hickey, shoulder hair vegan, and the neckbeard cosmetic. Who wouldn't empty their wallets to buy these? Guild Wars 2 is known for their wacky April Fool's pranks and this is definitely a weird one. Last year they added giant cats into the game. There's not much I can really say other than there were cats everywhere. I mean, imagine not knowing it's April Fools and logging in to see this. <coughs> Tinder is an MMO. I mean, you have your character, there are world events in the form of swipe surges, and realistic NPC interaction with Tinder bots. Just like every other IP, Blizzard copied this upcoming genre and teased Finder. Finder allows you to swipe right or left on potential party members when looking for a group for dungeons and raids. However, Tinder might have been copying Blizzard all along because all the way back in 2010, Blizzard announced Battle.net matchmaking as an April Fool's joke, which would have allowed Blizzard players to find their soulmate through their extremely accurate algorithms. My friends have tried to find someone for me, but always be these guys who don't know how to micro or even choke properly. I need someone in my league. Back in 2019, Final Fantasy XIV announced that they were entering the voice wars and launching a product that would compete with Siri, Alexa, and Google Home. Presenting Omega, your new smart home assistant. Let's just say it would give questionable answers. Omega, play romantic music. Oh. Calculating. <laughs> Omega? Add executive presentation to my calendar for Friday at 11 a.m. It is 99.9% .9 likely for your presentation to fail. In order to protect you from that tragedy, I shall delete all copies of your presentation. Undo! Undo! Are you f In 2019, EVE Online introduced a surprising feature to the game. When your capsule got destroyed, credits would scroll, and it would display a game over screen. In 2018, Final Fantasy XIV released an augmented reality game that was similar to Pokemon Go, called Final Fantasy Go. This game would allow players to not only gather materials in the game, but gather resources in the real world. Final Fantasy Go took things one step further by proposing harvesting sticks that would allow players to smash their phones into the floor to mine ore and fling your phone into the water to fish. Yikes. 
By far, the most interesting and elaborate April Fool's joke comes from Guild Wars 2. The Super Adventure box converted Guild Wars into an 8-bit world with a complete game reskin. It featured jumping puzzles, advanced bosses, and the amount of effort ArenaNet put into it earned them the number one spot for the best MMO April Fool's joke. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more MMO content, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. Let me know if you like this top 10 format or if you prefer documentary style videos. Up next, I'm probably going to cover the T20 scandal in EVE Online. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe with the bell notifications icon clicked so you get notified when I upload.